Right, good morning. Bash plate part eight now. Um, today I just got to do something remedial to what I did yesterday. Now the this bracket beef up thing here um, was for the purpose of two things. Obviously to stop that from cracking when you put a bolt for it and also to bring the whole thing out a little bit because there's a couple of little protrusions that they sit through. Easier to show you rather than to explain uh, but fundamentally I've got to beef that up with another layer today because that isn't thick enough and that's got to be done right. So show you what I mean and why I need it and then what we'll do about it. All right, this here down here, this is what I was talking about. Um, that's the space in which the horn sits, horn, and it sits in there like that. So these two little kind of cast metal protrusions are there to hold that stiff so it doesn't, I don't know, rotate when you bolt it up or something, I don't know, just holds it in place. And that's what I've decided to bolt the top of the bash plate on. This after will just get bolted outside the bash plate on the front. I'll just put a little block in there uh, or make a different bracket, whatever. Interestingly enough, six month old bike, look at that rusting on the back already. Fucking typical crap. Right, so on the plate, I've put that in to sit between those two marks. So that there sits neatly in between there and the hole lines up perfectly. However, even though it sits in there neatly, like that nicely, that is still way too close. It needs to be about there. It needs to sit about four mil off the surface, which is the aim for the bash plate all the way down. I want it to sit clear of the bike completely so it's not gonna chafe or scuff anything. And it will look better as well. So what I need to do is thicken up that bit there and make it double. And the easiest way is do what I did yesterday, bit of angle line, cut it into a tab. Um, been in the old rusty cut-offs bit, all the offcuts, and found that which is too small. And that which I made as a bracket for the tail on the Bandit of Doom. Uh, just one I didn't use, like a test one, I think it's because it was a bit skinny at the top. It wasn't quite symmetrical, so I sort of scrapped it. But that's the idea. Just put another layer on there so that it's thicker. But that's no good because again, it's not wide enough. It needs to be wide enough so it sits neatly between. It needs to be that width. So the only thing for it, take a little scrap piece of angle iron I've got and cut it out because the total width of that out to this edge, if I just cut that top piece off and I slice it off like that, that will give me the full width that I require and obviously limitless length to get it exact. Right, so set up the jigsaw and cut this out first. Actually you've got a heater on now. Less fuss than a grinder. Two neat cuts. Just clean that burr up a bit.
<laughs> it's a bit warm. There we go. One tab, ready to go. Right, first drill all in it. Right, easiest way to measure where to drill that is it's got to go in there between those two. So as to get the hole correct, pop it in, sits nicely in the gap. Want a bit of space so that it doesn't too tight. And then just, you can see them, two lines drawn where the hole is. And I can drill that there. And I know that it will be in the right place. As far as width ways, I'm gonna come across there now. I draw two lines, cross it that way. So that I've got a cross reference makes a square in the middle and that's where you drill. grinder cuts in each end to fill up with weld. No reason for that is I can't weld on these sides because they've got to fit into that slot. I can only weld on the back and on the front. And I don't want to butt weld on that too much so I'm just going to use these little slots and I'll just fill them up with weld. It's kind of like a version of plug welding. And the easiest way to hold it still and lined up is go for it. that down real tight. Perfect. Couldn't hold it stronger. Okay. Time to sting its ass. Level two, let's go. Let's just protect the tires from any melting metal. And we've got the didn't get the fireproof tyre option on this one. Ah, earth strap. Better if it's on the part, not the bench. Right, time for a test bit. 
the moment of truth. Right, now come out a little bit. It's got about probably a millimeter of side to side lozenge in that gap, which is correct. You don't want any more because once I bodywork it, that will take up a bit of space, paint, and so on, you know. And that's done up tight. Now that gives me that one in close. There we are. Spin the screen around. Now that that gives a nice tight flush fit there up against the bike, but with about I don't know three, four mil of movement. And obviously once I get into the mountains down here, they'll have the same. It's those four bolts that live on that bracket there. I'll be dealing with those and making a way of bolting them through with, you know, I'll get to that later. But this one, that's the top main mount that's now done. That's exactly how it needs to be. Just holding the whole thing off the bike about three, four mil and nice and solid. So there we go. Brilliant. All right, here we are. Some total, three more hours, three hours. Just goes on and on this stuff. But that's nice now. Nice curve to that. So it's nice and soft, well, rounded. And there is one solid mount. Um, well welded in, giving that a good old hittage and it's not going anywhere. The next one is to go all around this. This is a really, I was gonna do this today, but it's kind of boring really, so I just avoided it. But I've just got to go around that whole edge with a file and get that absolutely right. Um, I've ground it all back the other day. It looks all right now-ish. But I want to get the structural stuff done and then start finessing the whole thing at the end. So I think the next thing I really need to be digging into is the mounts down here that mount through the frame. Because that one's done and it'll be similar stuff to that. So there we are. That's number eight. Thanks for watching. Ride safe. See you next time.